Hello guys, this is Matthew Ricky. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so the next time you may see the new update. And today's video, we are looking at uh, trigonometry because last time we are looking at uh, the vectors. So now, let's try to go through the question. In the diagram below, K, N, B, and L are places on horizontal surfaces. KN it is 80 meters as you can see there and for NB it is 50 meters and for KRN it is 52 degree as you can see this is a 52 degree. So now we are asked to calculate KR. So we have to find this distance here KR. So now for solution. There are two rules of solving a trigonometry and we are going to use sine law. There is cos law and sine law and here we are going to use sine law because we are given two sides at the one angle. So KR it is equal to sine small rate big rate any and the sine capital letter R over small R. Then you cross multiply there. Then here we are going to have uh, where there is this sine N we have a 60 degree over N because we are looking for small N. We are looking for, for distance there equals sine R sine R we have 80, 52 degree over 80 for distance of R. So let's go to multiply. Then there it is 80, deg 80 meters times sine 60 degree, which is equals to any open bracket sine 52 degree. And here we ask to find the value of any. So let's divide both sides by sine 52. So let's find the value of any. Let's try to punch on calculator. In which we are going to do 80 times the sine 60. The answer is 69, 69.2820 divided by sine 52. So we divide by sign 52 then the answer it is 87 87 point 9 87.9 because we are looking at one decimal place meters we have found the distance for k r then for roman numeral 2 we are asked to find the the a the area of triangle K N B K N B So now for area we all know that the area of a triangle it is area equals half base times height but in, in trigonometry we substitute where this is the so we are going to write area equals half because we have small letter b and small letter k so we have b k sine sine n because the sine n it is 60 so area equals half where there is b it is 80 small letter b then where there is k it is 50 as you can see there opposite of k
times sin sin n it is 60 degree then when we divide 2 into 8 it is 40 40 times 50 it is 2000 2000 multiplied by sin 60 so response on calculator 2000 multiplied by sin 60 then we have 17 h2.0 0.5 meters squared because we are asked to find the area and for b we are given that the area of a triangle it is area of triangle k n r is equal to 3260 meters squared then we are asked to calculate the shortest distance from r to k n So we have to find the distance from K from R to Kn. So this is the shorter distance what they are asking. So solution. Shorter distance we normally use the area of a triangle. Which is area equals half bh then two times a which is two a equals one times bh it is bh base times height divided by b because we are looking for height divided by b base then height equals two a over b then height equals Two open bracket where there is area we are given that it is 3260 meters squared over where there is b it is 80 80, 80 meters yeah. then height equals expansion calculator 2 times 3260 It is a six five two zero divided by eighty. There it is meter squared over meter. So we are going to divide the six thousand five hundred and twenty divided by eighty, which is eighty one point five. When we divide meters into meters squared, we remain with meters. So this is meter. We will find the shortest distance from R to Kn. For question C, we are asked to sketch the graph of y equals cos theta for 0 degree is less than or equal to theta and such that 360 degree is greater than or equal to theta. So now let's try to draw a graph. So now let's try to plug the numbers. Here we have theta and there cos theta. Then 0, 90, because we are starting from 0 degree, 90, 90 degree. Then 180 degree and 270 degree and 360 degree. So let's try to punch on calculator for cos zero. Cos zero. Cos zero it is the one. And for cos ninety it is zero. Uh, for cos one eighty, one eighty degree we have negative one. And for cos 270 is 0. And cos 360 it is 1. 
So now let's try to draw a graph. We have horizontal axis. So on top, we are going to have zero there, one, because it's starting, for course, it is starting from one and negative one. Then 90, because it's starting from zero to 90 degree, then 180 degree. 270 360 degree so now let's try to plot this is a graph for cos cos theta so now let's try to plot for cos 0 it is 1 so we are starting from 1 to cos 90 cos 90 it is 0 as you can see there, and for cos 180, it is negative 1. So the graph will turn from negative 1, the curve will turn from negative 1. Then going up for cos 270, it is 0. So it's going up for for cos for cos 360 it is it is 1 so this is a graph for cos